Music is a wine. It sedates. Music is a medicine. It cures. Music is the chord of your soul. Once stirred, you hear an exciting and a paradoxical mix of hope and despondency, solitude and companionship, love, rhapsody, bliss, and a host of human emotions carrying you away from yourself. Angels come dancing, heavens bloom, streams flow, and flowers spread a fragrance you relish, your being relishes. Here you are, with your muse having just one word to inspire you with, music. Sufi music is a universe unto itself and out of myriad instruments of Sufi music, Santur stands out. Santur, a word of Persian origin, means a hundred strings. The wandering musicians and gypsies used to carry this instrument while transversing the continents of Asia and Europe, giving rise to a variety of instruments that are similar in nature yet different in name. The Chinese call it Yang Kin with 45 strings and the German version Hackbrett has 135 strings. Similar instruments are found in other parts of the world. It is known by the name of Santur in Iraq, Iran and Turkey. There it has only 72 strings. <laughs> In the early 15th century, Santur made its way to Kashmir. In India, the music of Santur resounded only in the Vale of Kashmir. Here, the instrument attained enormous importance in the field of mystic music, popularly known as Sufiana Musiti. It was during the reign of the Badshah, Zainul Abidin, that music in Kashmir reached its zenith. Music schools were established during this time and people learned the Santur with great fervor. Though it had to suffer a change in the rest of the world, the tone of Santur, besides being the most popular of all contemporary tones in the valley, remained unchanged. Hundred strings then, hundred strings now. The Santur is listed under the category of hammered dulcimers. The trapezoid figure, usually carved out of walnut or maple wood, has a hundred strings. These strings are tied with nails on the top board known as the sound board. Each string is tuned to a different frequency making each note sharply distinct. When the strings on the left and right are struck together they produce an enchanting dual music called zero bum. This has been our profession for seven generations. This is our ancestral trade. The Santur made in Kashmir is our product. 
Shiv Kumar Sharma brought it from us and took it to Bombay where he introduced it in Indian classical music. Kashmiris couldn't recognize its potential and Shiv Kumar Sharma showed them the way. He performed it in Iran and the king there gifted him a santur but he still prefers our make. Not a mark of pencil or a measuring instrument do we use. We have learned it all by heart. Even a minute change in measures would spoil the tones completely. The Santur Maestro Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma revolutionized Santur and introduced it in the Indian classical music, where it scaled new heights. A few have attained name, fame and fortune with these strings, whereas the rest associated with Santur still sing the songs of penury and obscurity in dimly lit lanes and small mehfils. These mallets bring a boundless delight for lovers of music, but for the players and makers they are nothing but lifeless, fruitless hammer strokes. Can you zone in my